Hello, sports fans and football fans. It's me, Sportsman Z. I'm back with my picks, as I do every week. This week, we're going to do week 13 picks. But first, we're going to recap how I did in week 12, which was quite well. I was 11-5 and five in week 12, which on the year puts me at 111-69. and 69 which is a percentage of 61.67 correct, which is pretty good. So I had a really good week in week 12, but I got to keep building on that. I got to not have a sub 500 week like I did at one point following the 13 and 2 week that I had. So um, let's hope that I've finally figured the NFL out. You can see from last week, I still really haven't since the uh, Ravens lost to the Jaguars somehow. So how that kind of stuff happens, who knows? Although I guess I kind of counterbalanced that by picking the Browns to beat the Buccaneers and they did. But anyway, I digress. We will be getting into the week 13 picks right now. All right, well, with that having been said, let's get on with the picks for week 13 after my very good week 12. All right, the first game is going to be the Thursday night, December 1st game. And that's going to be the Bills and the Patriots. And yeah, I'm back to the small helmets, as you can see. And... In this game, this particular game, I'm going to take the Bills. Yeah, we're going to go with the Bills. I know that Belichick has pulled some... Uh, he's pulled some rabbits out of his hat lately, but um, we're still going to go with the Bills in that game. And the Bills, believe me, they don't look impressive at all. I mean, they looked impressive to start the season out. But after, like, the first five, six games... They have not looked that impressive. They were barely beating teams that they should have easily beaten. So we'll see what happens with it, but I'm still going to take the Bills over the Patriots in that one. The Sunday games start out with the Packers and the Bears. Look at that. But uh, no, I'm going to go with the Packers. I think that the Packers still believe that they have a chance, and uh, technically they do. And uh, if uh, certainly if Justin Fields isn't back, they the Bears don't have a chance. So we're going to take the uh, Packers in that game. Next one we have is the Steelers at the Falcons. And uh, you know what? In this one... I'm going to go with the Falcons. I uh, The Falcons have, are, they're a hard team to figure out. They play some good football quite often, and they lose, even when they play good football. But uh, I'm still going to pick them to beat the uh, Steelers, who have not been at all impressive this year. The next game you got is the Jets at the Vikings. The Jets have started playing Mike White. Mike White looked great against the Bears, although, yes, that is the Bears and their crappy defense. But I'm going to still go with the Jets because the Vikings are still the Vikings. The Vikings have um, Kirk Cousins, and whenever you have Kirk Cousins, you have a chance of playing down to your competition, not playing well. Kirk Cousins has a tendency when things break down, he doesn't do well. He's only really good when everything goes as planned. And uh, that Jets defense might make things not go as planned. The next one we have is the Jags at the Lions. Now, because the Lions are at home in this one, I have a tendency to say I'm going to go with the Lions. So take the Lions to beat the uh, Jaguars. Jaguars are crap. The next one we have is 
the Titans and the Eagles. And, uh, well, in this one, I am actually going to take the Eagles. We're going to take the Eagles. Um, they, the Eagles are another team, uh, just like the Bills, much like the Bills. They started off the season. They looked really good. They looked like they were world beaters. Now, lately, they haven't. They did beat the Packers last week, but they beat them 40 to 33. So they haven't looked like the world beaters that they started out to be, but I'm still going to take the Eagles in that game. Next one we got is the Browns at the Texans, and this is going to be the game where Deshaun Watson returns. And I am going to take the Browns in this one. The Browns had an impressive overtime victory last week against the Buccaneers. And they got Deshaun coming back. And Deshaun, you can bet, is going to be very motivated to beat the Texans. So take the Browns in that one. The next one we have is the Commanders at the Giants. And who am I going to take in this one? You know what? I'm going to go a little off script here. I'm going to take the Commanders. Most people, with the way that they've seen the Giants playing, would say that the Giants are going to win. But really, offensively, the Giants are inconsistent. Uh, their quarterback, Jones, Daniel Jones, he is not that impressive. And, um, and Heineke has been great for the Commanders. By now, they have to. I didn't watch him last week, but by now, they have to have... Um, their big guy, their defensive player back. I forget his name. But anyway, they got to have him back by now. That defense is a tough defense. So is the Giants' defense. But I think that the commander's offense, the way that they just grind things out, I think they're going to beat the Giants. Next one you have is the uh, Broncos at the Ravens. Now, who am I supposed to take here? Because the Ravens last week, as you will recall, Lost to a very bad Jaguars team. It was ridiculous. And it cost me one of my losses. Um, but the Broncos, look, they're completely reeling. They're reeling and they're in disarray. So we are going to go with the uh, Ravens. Quoth the Raven, nevermore. Next one you have is the Dolphins at the 49ers. Now this one is a kind of a tough one. The 49ers are at home. The Dolphins are playing really good football, and I am going to go with the Dolphins in this game. So take the Dolphins to beat the Niners. They only scored, the Niners only scored 13 points last week to the Saints. They would have lost that game if the Saints had been able to score three out of the 55 times that they were down in the 49ers end, but didn't score. Like, they didn't score. Like, they didn't kick a field goal. I don't even know. I wish I could have seen that game because I don't know what was going on there. Next one you got is the Seahawks at the Rams. I don't think this needs a lot of discussion. You're going to take the Seahawks. The Seahawks played impressively last week in a loss, and the Rams did not. The next one we have is the Chargers at the Raiders. This game is in Las Vegas. Maybe the Raiders have found the secret formula. I mean, they won last week, so I'm going to go with the Raiders. Because the Chargers just are not very impressive. They had to, uh, they had to pull one out at the very last second last week to get me a win when I had picked them last week. And um, I think the Raiders, I think the Raiders are starting to, you know, everything is starting to gel a little bit. And I think I'm going to take the Raiders in that game. Next one you got is the Chiefs and the Bengals. You remember what I said last week. I always take the Chiefs. I'll take the Chiefs against anybody. Take the Chiefs against the 72 Dolphins. So, uh, yeah, just take the Chiefs there. The next one we have is... The Colts at the Cowboys, and in this one, I'm going to take the boys. I'm taking the Cowboys. Um, I, I know that Saturday, Jeff Saturday, has the Colts playing really well. He's got them on some kind of uh, game plan that's working for him. 
but I'm not buying it. Not against the Cowboys. And then finally, on the Monday night game, the Monday, December 5th game, you have the Saints at the Buccaneers. And in this one, I'm going to go with the Saints. I know they were terrible offensively against the uh, 49ers, but if they had even kicked a couple of field goals, they would have had six points. But, I, you know, maybe they learned from that. But the Buccaneers, remember, Tom Brady is not the same Tom Brady we're used to seeing. And that Buccaneers team is not the Buccaneers team that won the Super Bowl. I mean, they're just not, they're not playing like it if they are. So I'm going with the Saints in that game. So those are my picks. What did you guys think? Do you like my picks? Leave it below. Let me know what you differed on. Give me a thumbs up for the video. But that's going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.